Hello everybody, I am back here with Lior today, and we are going to be talking about the AutoDS Finder items. So this is something that people have been asking about. Um, these are the equivalent of sniped listings, so we can talk more about these. Good. Hey Jack, how are you? Happy to be here again with you. So, uh, do you want to ask me any questions? Because I know you have a lot of audience and a lot of people who follow you, so I think that maybe you know what people want to ask about this. Yeah, so, so if you could explain what the AutoDS Finder items are. Um, and so I can show, let me show in my recording real quick. Um, here, I'll show AutoDS tools. One second. If I share this. So people can see that there is a section here, AutoDS Finder. And then you have the options of picking a source site like this. And then you can pick either three sales in a month, five sales in a month, or eight sales in a month, and then upload these products. So many people have asked me uh, how this works and if it works. So if you could give an overview of how this, how it functions. Sure. So about all of this fine though, uh, many people uh, work on a way that they work with the uh, multiple search tools and they put their like uh, seller's names and then scan them and it gives them the best products uh, of the uh, sellers, things which sold for them on eBay. This is referred to as sniping. Yeah, a sniping way. So what we did here in AutoDS, we just took a list of all the eBay sellers that we found and we just scan them every day. Our uh, automatic tools scan them one by one every day. We have statistics which of them are dropshippers, which of them sells more uh, usually, which of them better sellers, and which we don't need to spend time on that because they never sell. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So we just go over these tens of thousands of sellers and adding their best products to our database. So, this is how the Autodesk Finder works. So instead you go and manually put seller's names and scan them, we just do it for you. And not only for one or 10 sellers, we go over all the sellers, or especially what, what we found, I think it's most of them, and uh, scan them every day. So this is how the finder works. We also identify if it's Amazon or AliExpress or Walmart. So for now on the sell sites, we have only the Amazon, so we will have also the other suppliers. So this is how it works. And we have many, many clients which just working only with the Autodesk Finder in their stores. They just don't have time to search for product. And they just upload bulk, pro bulk uploads every day from the Autodesk Finder. And that's all. Uh, Jack, we can show how we can save time with it and not just upload immediately in many products. We can schedule them. If you want, I can share the screen, or you can show whatever you want. Yeah, I will. Let me stop sharing. Um, so just just before Lior shows, just so you guys understand what we are talking about, um, when you upload products to eBay, so imagine you have a list of 100 products you want to upload. Um, you could upload all of these at once, or you can upload them and spread it out over time. Say 10 today, 10 tomorrow, and then after 10 days, you have, well, really there are items that fail, so not all would get posted. But my point is that you can spread the listings out so that every day there are new listings being created. And this is very, very important as a dropshipper or as physical eBay seller, because whenever you have a new listing, it is a, a entry to your store. It is like an advertisement for your store. So by having uh, many, many new listings every day, you bring more traffic into your store versus if you just posted everything once and then you did not post anything. So to be able to schedule uploads, as Lior is about to show, is very, very helpful. Yeah. It all started from this that people who, many people who came to eBay dropshipping, they came because they was 
they wanted to save time and make money on this time. They don't want to work very hard. So this is what we try to do here. When we upload products from the Autodesk Finder, it will also grab all data specifics from the source side. So it also will save a lot of time. So let's take, for example, this category of eight sales in a month. I suggest to work with this one with sales more. I will click upload now and it will move me to a page where I can configure all the things of this upload. So I can put here on the policy and everything as regular. Uh, the good thing is that when I use the Autodesk Finder, for example, if I will schedule now uh, 100 products, I know that all these 100 products will be uploaded. It will not be like 90 or 80 because there was some error. If I schedule 100, all the 100 will be uploaded because Autodesk will search for good products always. If one of the products Fails. was blocked while upload, so we will just switch it to another product. So the schedule upload is that is, is the most important thing here because I can see it one day and then schedule for the whole week. And for example, now I scheduled 100 products and it will upload one product every one minute. So when I click here, it will just send this upload. So if you change the sleep time to 60 minutes, then it would upload one product every hour? Yeah, exactly. For okay. example, here I already have upload, which is pending. Mm -hmm. And the good thing is that for those who want to edit product before they was uploaded, they can just go here, click edit, and then they can just go over the product and edit here everything they want. Wow. Yeah. So uh, now we're adding the variations to the final on the previous video. Yeah. So, so I will work with this also. And uh, I hope, uh, hope people will like the same thing. Yeah, it's very good because honestly, the, the thing that most beginner dropshippers struggle with the most is trying to identify products. Um, this is quite, most people spend tons of time. They go and they look at things and then they're like, oh, maybe, no, 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 I've not used this one. Oh, and then they go look something, eh, no, 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 I don't like this one. So then they go and, and then hour has passed they have nothing posted, and this is normal for beginners. So anytime that they can easily get items posted and start getting some sales and getting some experience, this can be very, very, very valuable. Yeah, exactly. Also, if you're on vacation or something like this, and instead of just not uploading anything, you can just sell some items. So your store continue to get traffic and continue to go Yes, it definitely, Order DS definitely lives up to its name. I think it yeah. is a good name. <laughs> yeah, this was our uh, thoughts when we chose this name. <laughs> awesome. So, is there anything else you want to talk about with the Order DS Finder and scheduling yeah. uploads? Uh, no, I can say only one thing about this is that uh, many people are afraid here about the prices that they don't choose which price uh, up, uh, the product will be uploaded with. So as we talked on many videos, you can just use our feature of the price raise and price drop. So it doesn't matter on which price you will upload the product because the price will be just adapted according to the competition of the products. So. This is also important. Yeah, so, so what Lior is saying that, that sometimes people want to be able to pick the price of the items that they're uploading, where in this case, it does not look at the price at first. It just looks at the available products that other people are selling and then picks one of them. But as long as you have your, your settings done properly, you will always be profitable. You do not have to have to know, is it $20, is it $200, these kind of things. Um, so you, you, you don't have to worry about this. And if you want to, then you can post the products and then afterwards you can see, okay, this one is too expensive. I don't want to have $400 product. So you can, you know, get rid of it, that kind of thing. Um, you can do things afterwards if you want to have more control over the, uh, cost of these items. One very important and, and interesting thing here is that for those of you who have, who have a VA, for example, 
and you want to compare what your VA did uh, and what the AutoDS Finder did, so you can just put here a tag of AutoDS Finder, and after that, you can very, very easily find which product sold from the AutoDS Finder and which product sold from your uploads or from your VA's uploads. So this thing is amazing because you can do filter according to the tag in both active listings and orders page. So it's very, very uh, easy and very uh, time saving. You, you can see here, we always put That's signs. very, yeah, that is very important because if you cannot tell what strategy created the listing, then how do you know if the results are from your strategy A or strategy Z? You know, there could be many, many different things you are trying. So to be able to tag and identify each product will allow you to learn better in the future to see what is working and what is not working. Exactly. You can use it also on the holidays, for example, like Christmas or uh, Halloween or things like this, because if I uploaded now many products for the Christmas, I don't need these products on February. Mm -hmm. So you, can, you, you, you would just use it to mark the seasonal products and then you could easily get rid of all the seasonal products later because of the tag that you created. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Good. I think this is all for now. Thanks for watching, yeah. guys. If you have any questions or want to try AutoDS, you can check in the description. There is a link there that you can use, and I encourage you to contact their customer service. They have good customer service. They listen. They work on their updates. I'm very, very impressed. Thank you, Jack. And uh, when you join AutoDS, you have a trial for just $1, and you will get 100 products from Finder to test. So you can do the same also with Finder. Awesome. Thank you very much, and uh, I wish you good luck to everybody. See you guys. Ciao. Bye-bye.